Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpents. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We do have quite a fair bit to talk about tonight. And it's really, really interesting what has been going on out there in the market. Of course, at the time of making the video yesterday, um, the price exploded straight afterwards. The entire market has gone into a very, very bullish cycle. And I'm very happy, obviously, you know, that the indicators and all that did signal that that was coming and it, and it came and it sure, sure came. I don't know about you, but last night was a long night, you know, just watching those charts and checking them out. But let's get on with today's because there is news today. So 1 billion XRP from escrow account over the past six hours have gone. So 1 billion XRP released, um, which equi equ it's equivalent to about $948 million in fiat. This is a very bullish um, sentiment, a very important thing that, that has happened, and we will keep a very, very um, close eye on that. Now, as a rule, after a billion XRP are let out, which is $800 million are locked back into escrow, since Ripple does not seem to need so many funds released. So we will keep a very, very, very close eye on this and what it means and how it's going to um, impact the market. So very, very exciting, you know, from, from, from that perspective. Now, the US congressman suggests that crypto should be the new gold standard. I mean, look at this, right? I mean, talk about bullish, you know, talk about bullish segment, talk about, you know, something being so pro, like that, that is massive. Why do we not use cryptocurrency as the new gold standard? Uh, that is like, take a screenshot of that, right? That is super super bullish for the um for the entire industry for the entire industry i mean that is absolutely massive you know to see that and and look it is it is going to become you know the norm like i said it just feels so similar to the 90s and the dot com era where it was a boom it was a misunderstood and then years and years later you know it, it took off now nowadays this process is sped up because of the fact that um, because of the fact that we have the internet, the social media, and we are just connected to each other a lot faster than we've ever been. But I'll tell you this, 1.7 billion people in the world do not have a regular bank account and cryptocurrency will do that for them. So they'll skip the era of owning a bank account and they'll go straight into the cryptocurrency world. So Stay hold, hold on tight because the future is bright for cryptocurrency out there in the world. That is for sure. Now, the SEC hasn't done any favors for our, all of us out there at the moment with the extension of four Bitcoin ETF deadlines by 45 days. So they were meant to be in October and they've pushed the dates. It doesn't mean that they're not going to come through earlier, but they've just given themselves more time to, to do this. Now, I don't know why they've done this. Uh, you know, there could be a whole bunch of reasons for it. But I mean, once again, it just shows the SEC not having interest in mass adoption of cryptocurrency at a large scale. Why else would they delay it another 45 days, which will, will take us like November 21, December 8, December 11, and December 24, respectively. So they're taking us into, you know, from what was meant to be October, end of October, they're taking, you know, some of them all the way to December 24, just before Christmas. So not not ideal, and, and again, not a good look for them. Now, on the uh, topic of uh, the Apex Dev Summit, you know, it has been huge. And there's been a lot of like screenshots and things that have come out of it. Overall, it's been very, very positive to see the Ripple's commitment to, to the NFT market space, to the developers and to the contributors. So really, really positive um, site. Now, of course, the XRP price spiked above a dollar, adding 8%. And, you know, over here in this article, it talks about that. It talks about, you know, how the price moved. I mean, you know, look at that. Like that was a... Uh, that was awesome, right? That was really, really, really cool to see yesterday and the buzz around social media around that. And we'll go over that today and we'll talk about the pricing. We'll talk about um, where we are at right now and what can we expect. Now, the SEC versus Ripple legal fight is over. That is something that came out while I was sleeping. So while I was asleep, um, this whole thing came came out and it was really, really fascinating, you know, to... Um, to 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 wake up and, and see that a fake article had come out. 
please be careful with articles and what you read on social media and what you read on the internet. I don't know why this was done. It doesn't make any sense, to be honest. But only trust super highly credible sources when it comes to news like this. Because this is a big deal. So Ripple on their Twitter account post about it or the SEC post about it on their Twitter handle or someone with extreme high authority posts it on theirs. That's when you know it's legit. And I know that it was posted on Yahoo. But please, please, please be mindful when it comes to news. And I'll go further. If you're waiting for the news to make up your mind, you're going to be sad. Very sad. Because you will not catch how fast the price will skyrocket the second the news comes out. So you should never get into something based on one big news event that is about to happen. You're either in before or you take the gamble and you're in afterwards knowing full well the repercussions of going in afterwards. Be mindful. Please be careful and look after your accounts. Very, very, very important. Now, the SEC chairman surprisingly uh, resounds support for Bitcoin futures ETF. So one news comes out, they're not so pro. Now they come out saying, well, actually, no, nah, no, no, we, we, we seem pretty pro about it. So guys, it keeps changing. It keeps evolving. Let's see what, what happens over, the, over next week and how that impacts uh, overall the, the ETF uh, market. And, you know, it, are we going to see some of them come through earlier? We'll check it out. Now, central bank, digital currencies, technology properties, we need interoperability and more. So this was an article that came out in regards to why it's so important for the future of CBDCs. And I think in this space, we're going to see a lot of information over the next quarter. And I'll be very keen to, you know, to keep you guys up to date as the news comes out. There's been also rumors at the moment of uh, Quant and Visa together. There's VeChain and XRP rumors uh, coming out again. Uh, like there's a lot, there's a lot going on. Now, of course, once the news came out that it was fake, you know, it, it you know jumped all over the internet and people, you know, all other news articles and news platforms made sure that people were aware that it was fake. So yes, we can confirm it was 100% fake. Now, Singapore grants crypto licenses to DBS and Australian Exchange Independent Reserve. Again, mass adoption, more innovation coming out of Singapore and it's always really, really, really good to see. Now, SEC versus Ripple, XRP's utility and currency value backed by former US Treasurer. Like, I mean, look, it doesn't get any better and more credible than her. And I think that although tweets don't hold weight, they do hold weight if you if you know what I mean. And I think her being pro about it being a, a currency goes a long way, for sure, for sure. Now, Ethereum smart contracts on XRPL. Between Ethereum smart contracts, hooks and smart transaction, XRPL developers will be able to build whatever they want. So that is the dream that, that is coming with the Interledger um, and, the, and the, you know, the, the power of, the, of this that, that is going to be coming out on the XRPL. Again, once again, new ways of, the, of this particular blockchain to be used. Very, very, very positive. Not just for 2021, but 2022, 2023 and beyond for the mass adoption and usage of this particular blockchain. Let's jump into Atani. Let's have a look at some of the indicators. Okay, so as we begin to look at the charts and we're looking in particular right now at the daily, we can see that we went all the way up to about a dollar four, and then we're sort of like having a retrace at the moment. And then, you know, of course, when when the market pumps the way that it did, of course, it's gonna it's gonna have a retrace at some stage. And I know that some of you were like worried. I don't know. Is this already the time that we, that we go to like a dollar fifty? You need to be patient because yes, we've had a pump, but there's more to come. There is more to come, and and every pump has a small, you know, it, it has a pullback. It has to have a pullback, right? It's not going to go vertical. It's not going to go overnight. It's not a switch. Take it easy, right? But there are some fundamentals that we can look at. You know, on the day, on the hourly at the moment, of course, the MACD is sitting on a on a bearish because of the high price spike that we had. We were outside of the Bollinger Band. We're now back inside the Bollinger Band, and we'll probably you know, float around a dollar, maybe even touch 99 cents, 98 cents. But on the four hour, it's bullish. On the 12 hour, it's bullish. But see, we were outside of the Bollinger Band. Now we're back inside. And then on the daily, we are now officially after a very, 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 very long time. It's been since the 6th of September that we were 
the MACD didn't flip into a bullish. The 6th of September, that's how long it's been on the daily that it hasn't been bullish. So it is a big deal. It is a very, very, very big deal what's occurred. And I think it is now the time that we start to, that we start to fly. And you know, we've been patient, right? 6th of September, no MACD being bullish on, on the daily. We finally have one. Let's go look at some drawings. So as we begin to look at the charts, what are we waiting for? We're waiting still for that 110. That 110 is critical. Getting above 110, support above 110, and we will kick off our road towards 150, 170s and beyond. But we are waiting for that 110 and retrace and, and consolidate above 110. When we look at the cup and handle and what we're about to do and how we're going to do it. Again, my mind has not changed. My mind is very, very clear on where we're going, how it's going to happen and the kind of moves that we're going to be making. And I will be with you step by step to go over this so that we don't miss out on anything or if there's you know something particular that might change this plan. But the plan is solid, right? Follow the plan, zoom out and it all starts to make a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of sense. Now, there were people talking about, you know, we're going to make a third, uh, an eight-year plan on how um, the XRP price is going to go. I mean, that is just ridiculous, right? Why would anybody have, how can you make an eight-year plan in this space at the moment? It's beyond me. But I wanted to share it with you guys because, I mean, it doesn't make any sense, any sense at all why why you'd make an eight-year plan in, in this space at the moment, right? No, I don't, I don't, I'm not thinking that far. There's a lot of things that can happen. But we need to go above 110, consolidate above 110. We've got 139, 161, 197 as very critical points. The 197 being the strongest resistance point, And then 273 before we go all-time highs and crush it. So super, super exciting. I can't wait. Hopefully there's no more fake newses. And the next time we hear about a settlement will be for real. If you do, if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as always. Thank you. And I look forward to see you on the next one.